What's going on everyone? Welcome back to my channel reviews with the blonde where I grab the hottest, highly anticipated newest snacks or drinks that are requested by all of you newly added food items from fast food restaurants. I then taste them, rate them, review them, let you know if you should eat or sweep, consume or grab that broom. Today, we got a special one. This is different, definitely special. Mr. Beast himself has made some chocolate bars. That's right, let me say it again. Mr. Beast himself has made some chocolate bars. They are called Feastables. You get three different flavors. I got the variety pack, of course. You get the almond chocolates, the quinoa crunch chocolates, and then the original chocolates. Now, what's crazy about this is it's basically like a Willy Wonka-esque type thing going on here. In these bars, you could get a mystery ticket, like a golden ticket. And then based off of that, you could either win being featured in the next video or money, if I'm not mistaken, and other cool prizes as well. So hopefully they taste good and hopefully I could actually win something. So let me just show you what they are here. So this is the original chocolate bar. You know, the OG Mr. Beast colors right there. And then this one is the quinoa crunch chocolate bar. And of course, we got the almond chocolate bar. So, let us open them up. Let's try them. I'm gonna start with the original chocolate. I don't know if every bar has a ticket and you know, it's just kind of like you win or lose type thing. So, yeah, so no, it's just gonna be, you know, you gotta get lucky and find that ticket or a couple tickets, hopefully. But this one has no ticket in it from what I'm seeing. But then it says bar right there, you know, here's the bar. It says share at the very top. Uh, I'm not sharing. You guys could get your own bars. Uh -huh, uh -huh. But let's eat that share part. And what's really cool about these bars, there's such an on here, there's only four ingredients. They're plant-based. I know there's cocoa in it and three other flavors. I don't remember the three other flavors. I mean, not flavors, I'm sorry. Three other, three other ingredients, but they're plant-based chocolates. That original chocolate tastes almost more like a dark chocolate. I mean, it doesn't say milk chocolate, it just says original, so it could definitely be a dark chocolate, that's for sure. But let's try the quinoa crunch chocolate. Any ticket? I'm not seeing any ticket in this one either. Dang it. Okay, we'll still try it, of course. So, one of the main ingredients you could have heavily emphasize on is cocoa. They're definitely dark chocolate based chocolate bars. And me personally, I like almonds in chocolate bars, such as the Hershey's chocolate almond bar. Do we got any chicken in here though? That's the main question. And yet again, Mr. Beast, no ticket. I mean, I got a bunch more bars, so hopefully there's one golden type ticket in there. But let's try the almond one. I will say, I don't know if it's just the almonds or something else, but I like this almond one the most. Oh, at the very bottom, so I wanted to pull this out to see what it says. So at the very top, as I showed you, it showed share, but at the very bottom, bottom it says devour. <laughs> That's pretty awesome. So again, all three, dark chocolate based. that in there. 
Yeah. Okay. So, between the three, as I mentioned, I like the almond based one a lot more. Or not a lot more. I would say fairly more than the other two. And then the quinoa crunch, I would say that would be my second runner up. And then the original, you know, just original dark chocolate almost. They are good. I mean, don't get me wrong, for dark chocolate, it is some good chocolate. Personally, if you know me by now, I don't really like dark chocolate that much. Depending on what kind of dark chocolate it is and how much, you know, percentage of cocoa and whatnot there is in it. You know, the higher, to me, way too bitter, not a fan. You do notice the bitterness in these, of course, because of the dark chocolate. But if you're a fan of dark chocolate, I'm sure you'll love all three of them. So, personally, you know, I would not buy again. Um, and I'm pretty sure it's going to be more of a limited edition type thing until, you know, so what? <clears throat> Excuse me, until I'm guessing, you know, there's someone that gets, you know, that one golden ticket or whatever other tickets are available out there. I still wouldn't sleep off the table for chocolate, dark chocolate. They're still fairly good, as I mentioned. Still enjoyable. I still would eat them. But yeah, I would not buy again. Rating wise, I'm going to give the almond. I'll give it a... I'll give it a, uh, I'll give it an 8 out of 10. Almond 8 out of 10. The quinoa crunch is 7.5 out of 10. And then the original chocolate, chocolate 7 out of 10. They're still fairly up there. Still enjoyable. Again, if you like dark chocolate, I'm sure you will love these. If you're a fan of almonds, hopefully, uh, then you'll like them. The quinoa, quinoa crunch, I mean, you get a little bit more crunch in it, of course. Kind of like a crunch bar. Just dark chocolate base. And then again, the original, just more so, just more so original dark chocolate. But hopefully in one of these next chocolate bars, I will get a ticket and we will win something. We shall see. If you've tried these, let me know what you thought about them. Leave a comment down below. If you tried them, you bought them, you've got a ticket, let me know what kind of ticket you got. Leave a comment down below. I hope you win. Hopefully I win. We shall see. Anyways, that's going to close out today's video. Hope you enjoyed. Thank you for watching everyone. Peace out. Oh.